Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich, and today you get a chance to see the keyhole. What the keyhole is? Keyhole is one of those patterns that's used in many, many police rodeos and civilian rodeos alike. It is one of the most difficult patterns to do. Easy to set up, but difficult to perform and complete. Now, the reason I'm bringing you this is because obviously you're dedicated to becoming a better, better motorcycle rider, especially at your slow skill maneuver. This is gonna set you up on a higher level than you ever known before. There's a lot of things that you're gonna do in this pattern that you would do when you're out practicing your own stuff. Like first, for instance, you're gonna do sharp right turns, you're gonna do road positions. Number one rule of motorcycle, look where you wanna go. It forces you to look where you wanna go. You're gonna do bike transitions. Let me walk through it right quick. Here it is. Okay, like most people, they wanna make U-turns going to the left. And this pattern will definitely help you with your U-turn. But do not be satisfied when you do it one or two times successfully. Keep going on, be greedy, be greedy. As long as you see yourself continue to progress, remember, practice bring progress. So we're gonna show you what all you're gonna help you with right now. First of all, roll position. Here in the United States, we make most of our U-turns to the left. And like I say, stated in the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how this is gonna help you with your U-turns. But we're here, I'm gonna make a left turn. Now remember, as with any pattern, you wanna do it both directions. This here is the gate. Just like if you're walking into any gate, and the pattern is the fence, is the dwelling that you're going into. The gate, when you set this up, should always be five feet. And almost every pattern we do, the entry gate is five feet. So I'm gonna walk through it right quick and show you what it's gonna help you with. Row position, I wanna do a left circle first, so I wanna get over to my left. Road position. As I'm riding in, next thing it's gonna do, the number one rule of the motorcycle, look where you wanna go. You wanna go to your left, you wanna look to your right, cause you're gonna start your left circle. The next thing it does, help you with a sharp right turn. You're still looking where you wanna go, using all your real estate to come around. Bike transition. Transition your bike, real estate, going all the way around. And right here, you're still using your head and eyes to look for that exit. The entrance that you came in is your exit. So you're looking all the way around, using all your real estate, all the way. And then what's gonna happen? You have to do another bike transition. Then roll position, so you won't hit these cones. If you have tennis balls, that's fine. The most important cones in this exercise are these two. Enter a, you can hit this cone. Exit, you can hit that cone. Now, I have this set up at 24 feet. And there's a reason. This center cone, you don't need it. It's just for point of references. What this does is have your awareness there. You're not looking at the cone to begin with, but you can see this center cone with your peripheral vision. So this is 24 feet. As you get better at it, close it into 22, 20, even 18, and you'll be at that professional motorcycle officer level at 18. I'm telling you, this is in every rodeo. Sometimes it's a standalone. So what I'm gonna do now, do maybe one or two runs on the bike and show you how to perform it and maybe talk through it so you can know exactly what I'm talking to. I'm gonna keep this camera on. I'm gonna have a camera facing my head so you can see my head turns. And when we say head and eyes, we mean it. Because most people will turn their head, but their eyes will be staring at the cones. So you will see the head turns. And then I may do a third camera so you can see the whole overall thing from above. I have the 360, but I don't think I charged it up. So stay tuned. Let me get geared up and start running it for you. Okay, I'm all geared up. I'm gonna run it for you right quick. This look like it might be six feet instead of five feet. Anyway, always put it at five feet, your gate. I'm gonna make a left circle and I wanna get roll position all the way to my left first. Head and eyes where I wanna go all the way deep into the keyhole. Head and eyes all the way around using all my real estate. Sharp right turn and exit. Here we go, first time going to the left. Look where I wanna go, come in all the way around. See my exit, steady throttle, bike transition and out. One more time going to the left. You wanna keep that throttle steady. That time mine went up to about 200, I mean 2000 RPM. 
So here we go one more time. Sharp right turn, deep in. Look at where I want to go. Finding my exit. I see my exit. Coming out, roll position, bike transition, and exit. Had to do a little bit more break in there because I would have missed it. Matter of fact, I'm going to show you what happened if you feel that you cannot make that exit. You still can complete the pattern, but it's like this. Everything the same. I'm in a friction zone. I'm coming around. I didn't transition the bike. Don't complete that exit. Don't give up. Go around a second time. Now you know where to look. Look for that exit. I see it. Now I'm prepared. And I am complete. Okay. Now I'm going to go around to the right. A right circle, which means my roll position going to be to my right. And I'm using that center cone as a point of reference. Look where I want to go. Head turn. Looking for my exit. I can hear my RPMs a little higher than normal. And got it. Nothing changed. Head and eyes. What I want you to do is look at this next one. I'm going to do it to the right again also. And watch the different camera angle. Already looking where I want to go. Deep if I want to. Use all my roll position. My head is all the way looking to that exit right now. And I'm coming out. Bike transition. And exit. Okay, how does it help you with your normal U-turn? Remember, from this end to this end is 24 feet. And in the United States, the average lane is 12 feet. Put two lanes together, you get 24 feet, and you can make a U-turn. So, when you're doing U-turns, if you're doing a regular U-turn and got it, that's fine. But how do you make those U-turns easier? By putting the dip in it. That's where that cone weave helps. So you come into your U-turn, you dip out, you dip in, let that momentum take you, you dip around again. Number one, rule the motorcycle. Look where you want to go, and you exit. So I'm going to show you. In fact, let me move some of these cones out the way. Now, I still have the keyhole set up to show you how the keyhole will help you with the U-turns. But I just moved that cone out the way so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. When I get to that position, I'm going to stop. <laughs> Just heard my thing say media connected. Okay, this keyhole will represent a dip in the U-turns. So I'm coming in, I'm going to do my dip. Here's my dip right here. Make my U-turn, and I'm going to stop to show you right here. Right here. You just completed a 24-foot U-turn. Now, obviously, with the keyhole, you want to come to the exit. But you can see how that dip, sharp head turn, lean the bike a little, come out, and you completed a 24-foot U-turn. Because remember, from here to here, it's 24 feet. Okay, one more time, going to the left. Hope we'll give you a different view from the 360. Okay, notice I had to little, slow down a little bit more, put a little pressure on that rear brake to exit. Uh, find that exit as quickly as possible. Auto return, roll position, see my exit, yes, coming out, and completed it. Let me try it from the, going to the opposite direction with the 360 view. Deep in head turn see my exit bike transition slow down and completed it <laughs> that's when you know you have good clutch control using your friction zone and using your brakes u-turn regular u-turn that's my dip my u-turn look at where i want to go and that's my 24 foot u-turn That's all we have for right now. So go ahead on and set up that keyhole pattern. And I guarantee 
or your money back from this video <laughs> that your level of slow skill maneuvering will go up high. That's all I have for right now. So if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. For Motion Genes Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace.